All right, welcome back to Newsmax. Now, a lot of red on the big board tonight. Stocks dropping fast and far. All the major indices down around 3% on new fears of a currency war, not just a trade war. That's right, a currency war with China. And joining us now to talk more about the economy, the trade war with China, and our exploding national deficit and debt is David Stockman. He served as Ronald Reagan's budget director. He's also a New York Times bestselling author. His latest book is called Peak Trump, The Undrainable Swamp, and the Fantasy of MAGA. David is coming to us live from Aspen tonight. Great to see you, David. Thanks for coming on. Very good to be with you. All right. So today, President Trump accused the Chinese of currency manipulation after they devalued the yuan. Uh, this is in response to President Trump's 10 percent uh, tariff that he announced last week on billions, of, hundreds of billions of dollars of Chinese goods. So we're talking about a trade war, a currency war. Stock markets don't like what's going on. And you see things getting worse. But how much worse will they get? Well, a lot, but I would say uh, uh, Trump's uh, accusation against China is a case of the cat uh, calling in the kettle black, uh, the pot calling the kettle black. I mean, every central bank in the world has been driving interest rates lower, um, expanding their uh, balance sheets and money supplies at incredible rates for 10 years now. So the Fed touched off a race to the bottom when it started this whole process in August 20, uh, 2007, uh, you know, 12 right. years ago. The last time they started uh, this easing cycle, uh, the interest rate uh, was five and a quarter percent. Uh, inflation was half that, so you had two and a half percent of real rate. Money cost something. The balance sheet was 860 billion of the Fed, it had taken 94 years to get there. Then we had this immense explosion for the next 10 or 11 years. For uh, 126 months running, the uh, federal funds rate was below the uh, year over year inflation rate rate for 126 months in a row. Nothing like this in history. It's crazy. That was only an incentive for speculation in the financial markets. It didn't mm -hmm. do much uh, for the Main Street economy. Uh, likewise, uh, you know, here we are and the Fed has been bullied into um, stopping its uh, attempt to wind down its balance That's sheet as it promised at 3.8 trillion. So we've essentially created 3 trillion of phony money in the last decade that's created this tremendous bubble. The rest of the central banks of the world have done the same. We now have $14 and that's your take trillion. On, and that's your take yeah. on Jerome Powell, that, that he, he was bullied, that he doesn't really, you know, he didn't really believe this was the best thing for the economy or that it was due to economic slowdown. You just think he was bullied by President Trump to do this? To lower the interest. No, no I think he. he I, I think he was uh, bullied by uh, the crybabies and uh, uh, gamblers on Wall Street who could never get enough, uh, you know, sugar high from the Fed. And so when the market corrected a little bit in uh, May, uh, they start, uh, you know, whining for another rate cut when we mm -hmm. had barely gotten the interest rate positive. Uh, but the point is, everybody is doing it around the world. This is a terrible race to the bottom. Bottom that could destroy the monetary system. Um, we have 14 and a half trillion of debt trading sub-zero today, and even the 10-year uh, U.S. Treasury traded uh, closed at 1.74, which is well under the running inflation rate. Now, what kind of stable world can you have when there's trillions and tens of trillions of debt trading at negative real yields? You're asking for a major uh, crack-up collision, and I think today was just uh, kind of a foretaste of things to come. We didn't heal the and what economy. The White House is, all... And what the White yeah, House's chief, ahead, chief yeah. economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, said last week, you know, the economy is still great, and he put a lot of credit into the job market. Here's what Kudlow had to say. People are flooding back into the job market. You know, that tells me not only is the economy strong with a low unemployment rate, but because of the increase in salaries and wages and compensation, people are coming back. That's rare, but very, very positive. In a rare, but very, very positive <laughs> job market, stave <laughs> off the recession? No, look at uh, the job market isn't all that positive. The unemployment rate isn't worth the paper it's printed on. What we need to remember is there's 102 million adult Americans still outside of the job market, not employed today. What we need to remember is from way back in the before the uh, crisis, uh, 207, last time they started the easing cycle, industrial production is only up 5% in 12 years. What has gone up is the stock market. 
market. What has gone up are mm. these massive bubbles. You know, uh, so uh, the idea that we have a strong economy, I think, is really uh, whistling past the graveyard. Um, you know, we're supposedly going to get a huge amount of new investment from this massive unpaid for tax cut. This year, 170 billion of business taxes have been reduced, and yet in June, uh, the investment uh, rate was negative 0.6, and it's only grown at 2.5% for the last and, year running. So what I'm saying is we net... Yeah, and the debt the debt is up to two explode. trillion dollars in the two and a half years under President Trump, right? And you know, we want well, to wrap up. Uh, you know, this is obviously going to going to have yeah. you know, you believe it's going to have some consequential uh, impacts on the market. So, what's what kind of questions should investors be asking their own financial advisors right now? How do I get out, out of the market, that is, stocks and bonds, as fast as I can? This is the time for capital preservation. The chickens are coming home to roost. The central banks of the world are lost. There's an absolute trade war of uh, you know, historic proportions underway right now that's getting worse by the day. There's not going to be any uh, trade settlement anytime soon that amounts to anything. And so therefore, this uh, fantasy that we've been living since the crisis, that somehow everything Thing got fixed, it's all better, and we're off to the races, is being proved to be a total, uh, you know, a total myth, a total lie. It's not safe to be in the stock market. It's not safe to own longer-term bonds. Get out, store your cash, and, and wait for, uh, the, you know, the uh, uh, conflag the conflagration. The uh, <laughs> to blow over exactly and it may take a couple years you know the fed doesn't have any dry powder left as i was saying before the rate was five percent mm -hmm. when the crisis came last time they had a lot of room to cut they're at two percent they've already blown some of their dry powder and if they try to go negative they will you know they'll create an absolute yeah there's no incentive to save any revolution. money yeah that's there's right no but they'll to save cre create a well, they've been savaging savers and retirees and actually wage earners, for that matter, for the last right. 10 years. And if they try to drive it, it back to zero, to uh, yeah, they're, they're going to uh, uh, really, uh, uh, you know, ignite uh, a political revolution like uh, would, would make the Trump movement of 2016 look like a, you know, a walk in the park. A lot of insecurity out there right now. David Stockman, great to see you. Thanks so much. And make yes. sure you get his book, Peak Trump, available now. Great to see you, David. Very good.